Welcome back to the shop. As you can tell, I'm wearing my shop sweater, which means it's 50 degrees down here again in my hat. Anyway, today we're going to do a little bit of a different project. Again, no 3D printing this time around, but I'm doing a um, headlight upgrade on my 300SD. And uh, I was doing some figuring out. And uh, the, the sealed beams here, about 35 watts halogens, and you get um, two high beams, one low beam, because there's quad headlights in this thing. So the two center ones are high beam only, and that's, no, I'm sorry, that's what this is. So it's just a two pole sealed beam. And for those not familiar in the US, this is what they sold vehicles with. Instead of replacing a bulb, you replace the whole sealed beam which I don't know what to tell you uh, but with that said um, the low beam consumes about 35 watts so you're looking at about 70 watts of power to power two low beams and another 140 watts to power the high beams uh, the issue with that is uh, well obviously power consumption I covered that in my previous video but one of the other things is I'd like to actually have dual low beams and dual high beams. Um, there's two buckets, why not use them? Uh, one of the more popular things that people do is they, they upgrade their, uh, bucket, uh, their buckets and they put these um, converter uh, beams, I guess, from Hello or whatever. Uh, they put them in their cars and then they run an H4 bulb. And the beautiful thing is the car is already wired for H4 basically um, which actually from the modern standards I think there's a couple of poles reversed but uh, that's neither here nor there so yes this is what the bucket looks like it's actually a metal bucket uh, the chrome looks pretty nice in there and it's glass uh, I found these on Amazon and uh, they were surprisingly cheap I mean much much cheaper than just two of these from Hello or anybody else for that matter uh, I think they were like 20 something dollars for two so it's basically less than 50 bucks to do all four headlights uh, which was nice and I could run uh, H4 bulbs in this and I'd be pretty happy I think with H4 bulbs but I don't want to go that route either because I still have to buy bulbs and uh, what I did was I actually took a page out of my uh, LED uh, fog lights and I got some H4 LEDs. Now H4 LEDs that I got are not the passively cool kind. These actually consume about 25 watts. So on the low beam condition they would be running around 100 watts across all four head all four uh, bulbs on the high beam conditions it would still be a hundred watts so um, the peak power would go down but the average power is kind of up because instead of running 70 watts you're running a hundred watts I figure 30 watts is not gonna make too much of a difference so I bought these uh, they seemed like the pretty decent quality and the, the price was comparable with decent halogens at that usually a couple of halogens will run you twenty dollars these were a little bit less than that shipped so I figured what the heck why not one of the other things that I wanted to do was to cut off the high beam pigtail and wire this H4 uh, high low beam pigtail and I realized that if I just pull one of these terminals out of this pigtail I don't have to cut off the original one and I can use this to splice into uh, the original wiring by using one of these scotch locks and I know a lot of people don't like these I've used them with pretty decent success in the past so I don't mind using them as long as you crimp them properly and the actual headlight itself is not completely sealed to the elements but it's pretty well protected so I don't think there's going to be any really a big issue with corrosion or anything like that and if there is I'll just cut it off and or I should say I'll uncrimp this and I'll, I'll strip the wires I'll solder it and shrink wrap it and 
heat shrink it I should say uh, but for now these uh, little connectors that I pulled out of the H4 sockets and again I'll, I'll put a links in the description for all this stuff if anybody's interested um, I think it was like six bucks so to me just to have this little connector six dollars three dollars aside not bad and I still get to keep a spare one of these just in case I need one and they're actually pretty decently built uh, they have a ceramic uh, housing uh, the wire is pretty thick gauge and it has a rubber over mold that just you can slide it out but again it doesn't make it waterproof but it makes it weatherproof um, let's see so without further ado um, I'm gonna show you how I put these things together because it was actually a little bit different than a normal headlight to put together and the reason for it is um, well I'll show you these headlights and this is a better close-up uh, this is how they come when you pull them out and they have this little cap on there and you remove that you dispose of it this is what the LED bulbs come with and if you notice there's a little dimple there's actually three dimples and there's three dimples on this and you can use this to actually clock it to um, <clears throat> make your low beam and high beam effective so with that said this part goes in here like so the, the over round part goes inside the housing these wires clip in like so careful not to cut yourself and that's done this is actually um, it's, it's, it's a weather boot and there's a marking that says top on it there's a marking here that says H4 halogen right so you want to orient the top with that but if you just try to push it on like this it's not gonna fit what you want to do is you want to stretch this boot over this over here and it's it's actually not that bad to do um, you literally put your thumb in there and you stretch it over fixture slowly push it on and of course it's difficult to do it while steering through a viewfinder if you'll give me a second I'll do it so now if you did this right you'll see the uh, sheet metal from the LED adapter it's coming through the rubber and to clock this properly the the pigtail this pigtail is pointing towards this way basically towards the left if you're looking at from the front and down so it would be about the eight o'clock or seven o'clock position roughly and there's dimples here and there's slots here there's also an o-ring here don't lose your o-ring because that's what actually makes this weatherproof um, so let's see let's see if we can align this I think I was able to and this just slides in that's it you're done now just to slap it back in the car and uh, you should be able to enjoy uh, LED headlights on your Mercedes up next I'll show you how to install how to do the wiring and what the results look like so I'm hoping you guys can see this this is the wiring modification that I'm planning out over here this is um, the high beam over here and this is the H4 socket that I cannibalized to take one of these wires and I'm hoping it just clips in there if this clips in there 
it did that's beautiful and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna piggyback on this wire over here which is actually a yellow uh, with a brown stripe wire here and I'm gonna use one of these scotch connectors that allows me to um, splice into it without cutting it and that's how I'm gonna get two low beams and two high beams on each side of the vehicle I hope that uh, explains it I wanted to show these buckets um, so on top it causes the, uh, the up and down um, adjustment and there's one on the side over here that causes the left to right adjustment so both these buckets are actually fully adjustable they both clock the same way so the actual headlight um, housings should fit this pretty nicely um, I went ahead and polished the rings out with uh, some scratch remover and now I'm gonna bolt these back in this is a little difficult to film but this is what the headlights look like uh, right now the high beams are on so those are the halogens these are LED ones so I'm gonna turn off the high beams and you guys can see this So oh, that's the modification. Now I have two low beams on this side and only one high excuse me, only one low beam on this side. And as you can see the brightness difference is pretty darn big. I'm quite happy with how these things are looking. I'll pardon the way this looks, but on the left side are the LEDs, on the right side is the halogens, if I block the LEDs, that's what the halogen beam looks like. And if I block the halogen, that's what the LED beams look like. Um, it looks like I have to aim the LEDs uh, down a little bit, and I'm going to do the adjustment now. Uh, but other than that, it seems like a good fit. Here we go. The headlights are installed. Everything is in place. I'm quite happy with the result. Uh, they still look basically factory. Uh, they're aimed properly. Pretty decent beam of light. I'm quite happy with the results here. And... Think that's it uh, thanks for watching if you guys want to replicate this there's links in the description and I hope you guys uh, found it useful have a good one